Ladies, he began, his voice a hoarse whisper. I spent the last thirty-six hours in prayer, striving to understand God, though I know full well that his ways are not for the living to comprehend. His word, the tidings I bear, are grim indeed, a test of faith the likes of which I have never seen, and a burden I all too hesitantly must now share with you. Amanda approached him, placing a cool hand upon his brow. No man should carry such a burden alone, Pastor. Please, let us offer you succor. He shook his head. I have spoken to the Lord, our God. He has told me that our utmost concern upon reaching New Eden will be to be fruitful and multiply. And you all know that while one man can give his seed to any number of women, any woman can bear but one child at a time. They stared at him, blank-faced. He knew they understood, just as he knew that they wouldn't let themselves acknowledge it. He hadn't wanted to acknowledge it himself, but the Lord's will could not be denied. Like Noah, Amanda said quietly, and his ark. Yes, Kostka broke into a wide smile. But instead of two of each animal, to grow our people as fast as we can and take the new Eden, it will be me and as many women of childbearing years as we can manage. In one year, we'll go from thirty to fifty-nine, barring twins. Should the good Lord provide, we should have a tribe of hundreds in a few decades. But what of our menfolk? Lucille asked meekly. And the young girls? And the elder women. That's what had me so torn, the pastor said. My faith was weak. I wailed. I said, Father, the men here are good men who have kept your commandments, who have provided us with this fence, who have done good works. Why must they languish in the old world? And my doubts kept me from a state of grace for many hours until I realized his plan. The women watched him avidly. What was his plan? They'll come with us, the pastor said. In spirit, if not in flesh, as I had originally thought. The first generation of children will be the resurrection of those who are not fit to grow our tribe with the speed the Lord requires. So we leave them behind? Lucille asked, uncertainty in her voice. No, child. No. Pastor Kostka put a comforting hand on the girl's head. We'll be taking them with us, the only way we can. Their flesh in our flesh, their spirit bound to us. This is the new communion, my children. As the wine and bread becomes Jesus' flesh and blood, so too shall our worthy men's flesh be bound to our spirit across the long, stellar journey. You mean we... Lucille began, face aghast. Praise be to Jesus, Amanda whispered. 